Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Driftfest ROM based on Android 16. So this is an unofficial ROM for this device and recently we are not getting any custom ROM for this device and this is kind of good that we are still getting few ROMs. Although they are unofficial but they kind of work pretty well. So about phone, as you can see here the specification of the device. Android version, Android version 16. Breakfast version 16.0 and the security patch level is 1st October 2025. The UA is pretty much similar to all other AOSP based ROM. Nothing new here. The control panel is also similar. In terms of customization, we do get Dripfest customization and we are getting tons of customization option. Status bar. Quick setting. Notification. Buttons. So tons of option available. Lock screen spoofing miscellaneous so you can tweak the ui up to your liking in terms of network connectivity wi-fi bluetooth hotspot bo lte and bo wi-fi everything working perfectly fine and you can turn on wi-fi and hotspot together no issue as you can see here in the display setting we do get adaptive brightness and double tap to walk and double tap to sleep they are working well, no issue at all. As you can see here. In the wallpaper and style section, we do get few clock options, as you can see here. In the change wallpaper, we do get few default wallpapers. And few customization options here. In the mode lock screen setting, we do get few options, but no AOD. Notification, the options are pretty much similar to all other ROM. Modes option is also available. In the sound and vibration, working well, no issue at all. And we do get parallel volume control, but no Dolby Atmos option, as you can see. But we do get smart pause and light option and few other options here. Accessibility, nothing new there. In terms of security and privacy, we do get both face and fingerprint unlock. And they are working well. No issue at all. We do get private space and in the more secret and privacy setting, we do get extended unlock, theft protection and everything here. Location is working perfectly fine and few other options here. App section, we do get clone apps, game space, sidebar option and app compatibility change but no app log option here as you can see so that is not available in terms of battery so the battery backup is quite good i haven't faced any drain issue or anything like that and first charging is also working you can get full 18 watt charge here so first charging available and also we are getting few options like charging control you can schedule you can limit the charging battery information option and battery wizard and Battery status, so these are the things available here. Storage, so by default Android 15 or 16 based ROM takes 15 GB of storage. So this one also similar as you can see here, 11 GB, 4 GB, kind of 15 to 16 GB. In the system setting, we do get few other options. USB connection, navigation mode, and few things here, but no Xiaomi parts option available here. So that's all what you are getting in the setting panel. In terms of application, this is a GFS build, so we do get few Google application here, and we do get a camera application which is Gcam Go, and it is working well. We do get few option here, like lens switching option is available here and working well, no issue at all. And also video recording is also working. And if you want, you can install a proper Gcam here. That is also working. So the other application like Google Photos Unlimited Storage is available. As you can see here, unlimited storage. And fortunately, the Magic Editor is also working here. So we can circle. And erase.
So working well, no issue at all. In terms of phone call, Bo LT, Bo Wi Fi, everything working, even video call is working. But in terms of call recording, as it is using default Google dialer, so it will inform the person that you are recording the call. So one of the downside of this ROM actually. And we do get safety net here. So you can use bank application here if you want, but obviously not recommended, like not really secure. If you use bank application and other application on a custom ROM, so about and mm -hmm. play product certification, device is certified. So it's up to you. If you want to use bank application, you can do it here. No issue at all. And in terms of other application, we do get FM radio and the music player here. And other features like we do get circle to search. Slower side, but working well. No issue at all. And in terms of gaming, so the gaming performance was not really that good. If you compare it with Evolution X and Infinity X ROM, it's pretty much noticeable that the device is not performing that well. So in terms of gaming, I would not recommend anyone to use this ROM. But overall, the ROM is usable. It is a little bit sluggish side. And you can feel that, that like animations and everything pretty slow side and the UI takes time to load most of the time. Although there is no major issues, but the sluggishness and the gaming performance is not really that good. So I don't really recommend anyone to use this ROM. But anyway, if anyone wants to try this ROM, the ROM link will be in the description below. That's all about it. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.